I'm still hard as a And to bring them up out of that land unto a good land right. and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey. What, the, what, what is the land of Israel? Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. With that milk and honey, man. This is not the land that flows with milk and honey. No. This is not the land that flows with milk and honey, man. No, sir. You agree with that, brother? Does this land flow with milk and honey? Right? Meaning with all types of abundancy and, and you know, and uh uh spirit nah this this place is the opposite of that it's because of the so-called white man he corrupted this land right he corrupted this land with with all his inventions and his wickedness That's right. right so this is no this is not a land that flows with milk and honey we got to go back to our land because that land was promised unto us right you know what what I'm saying? in first timothy uh four through seven what, what is that talking about first timothy four through seven who, who, who is it referring to? Uh, so you say first, first Timothy, the fourth, fourth chapter, and seventh verse. Yeah. Four, the seventh verse. Let's go to uh, first Timothy chapter four, verse seven. Or three, three to three to seven, around there. Four, verse seven. Chapter four, verse seven. Which verse though? You said what? First Timothy, I believe it's uh, from verse three to seven. What is it talking in there? Three to seven. First Timothy, the chapter three and verse seven. That's one. That's one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I think it's chapter two. Let me see. Chapter two. Okay. Let's go to chapter two. Chapter two. You said verse, verse like three to seven. Three to seven. seven. All right. Let's okay. First Timothy, first Timothy, chapter two, verse three. Okay. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will, who will have all men to be saved. And, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men and man of, of Jesus Christ, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I, I speak the truth of Christ and I lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Yeah, so that's talking about um, the Israelite foreigners. Right? When it says that who would have all men to be saved, that can't be talking about literally all men. Because when you go into the Bible, all does not mean all every time. It says it. Right? Because the thing is, let's go to real quick. Um, precept. Yeah, precept on that? All right, Kyle, let's, uh, you got your precept, and I'm, I'm going to bring out the precept as well. It's the book let's go of, to uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 18. Obadiah, 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 18 verse it's the book of Third John chapter 1 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Demetrius hath good report of all men. Right, give me uh, Luke chapter 2. And of the truth itself. Yeah, see, so it says Demetrius has a, 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 a report of, all, a good report of all men. And that can't be talking about every single person upon the face of the planet. Right. So when God, when when it talks about all, oh, it's not really talking about every single person. Right. Let's go to we're going to show you that furthermore. Let's go to Luke chapter two, verse one. Right. You got it. This is Luke chapter two, verse one. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. That what? That all the world should be taxed. That all the world should be taxed. This is talking about the first Caesar. Right? This is talking about Caesar Augustus. And when he gave out that tax, it wasn't to every, all the world. We're talking about the Americas, Asia. No, he was only, he only taxed the Roman world. So when it says all the world, it's not talking about really all the world. That, you see that? Isn't that what he would have wanted to tax everyone to take over all of the world? But here's the thing though. During his time, they only, he only, he only conquered a certain part of, of, the, of the world though. Even though he wanted, he, even if he, you know what I'm saying, he wanted to conquer, let's say, South Africa. Nobody conquered South Africa. No Roman got to South Africa. You know what I'm saying? In history. So when it says all the world, it's just talking about all the world of the Roman world. Right? 
That's all it's talking about. So you have to understand the context. So let's go to, let's see if this really talking about every single person is going to be saved. Because let's say, for example, Not that they're the, all going to be saved. All of them to be saved. Exactly. So is everybody going to be saved? Let me ask you that. So what does that mean? All men should be saved. He desires all men to be saved, but not that all men are going to be saved. Exactly. So we, we so first of all, even even if we kind of look at it from there, not everybody's going to be saved. Now let me ask you this: Can an Edomite be saved? If he believed in Jesus Christ, can he be saved? It's up to God. I'm not. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. You won't be able to tell me that. Okay. So a lot of Christians will say, now tell me if you agree with this. If you believe in Christ, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you are eligible for that salvation. Yeah, doesn't matter your ethnicity, right? Now what we say, according to the Bible, your ethnicity does matter according to your salvation. Give me the book of uh, Luke, uh, the 19th chapter, I believe I want it. Right, Luke 19 and verse number seven. Now give me uh, Obadiah chapter one, verse 18. Go ahead. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 18 right and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame uh -huh. and the house of Esau the stubble and they and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau there shall not be what there shall be no remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken for the Lord has spoken right. this is a prophecy in the book of Obadiah, right? Saying that there shall be no more Edomites left upon the face of the planet. So if the Edomite believes in Christ, he cannot be saved because this prophecy does not disannul the fact that he's gonna be slaughtered, that he's gonna be killed, right? The prophecy said what it said, the Lord said, the Lord has spoken, meaning it cannot be changed, it cannot be disannulled, right? So if God already prophesied that in the Old Testament, if the Edomite go ahead, goes ahead and say, I believe in Jesus Christ, therefore I will be saved. No, you can't be saved. God already said you can't be saved. No matter what you do, this prophecy cannot be broken. As God says in John chapter 10, the scripture cannot be broken, right? I Meaning you can't go against the prophecy. Let's go, I'm gonna show you one more on that. Let's go to uh, Luke 19 and give me verse uh, uh, eight. So do you know about Z uh, Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Is that how you say it? Zacchaeus. 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 Yeah, and um, and uh, the book of Luke, right? You know. Do you know? Do you know about that uh, story? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to show you real quick, right? He was a short man, and he had to. He couldn't see Christ, right? Because everybody was taller than him, so he had to climb up upon the tree to see Christ, right? So go ahead. God, this is Luke chapter nineteen, verse eight. Uh -huh. And Zacchaeus stood. And said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken my thing, lucky, like if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. This day salvation has come to this house. Listen to what Christ is saying. He's saying salvation has come to this house because what? This day is salvation come to this house. Right. For so as much, Salaki, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. Because he's a son of Abraham and he's doing the works of Abraham, salvation has come to this house this day. That's what that's what the Bible says. So ethnicity doesn't matter when it comes to salvation. Now, let me ask you this before I, before I make that point. Do you believe that your ethnicity matters when it comes to salvation? Personally, no. Okay, personally, no, right? So that, and that's a lot, that's a common belief, right? And this, it doesn't matter when it comes to God. But we're showing you in the Bible, in the New Testament, that because this man was a son of Abraham, right? There's people that don't come from Abraham. Not everybody comes from Abraham. You have the Elamites, for example, the East Indians. They don't come from Abraham, right? But they're Shemites. But the thing is, they don't come from Abraham. So, but you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you would say East Indian, if he believes in Christ, you could be saved, right? Yeah, right? But they don't come from Abraham. So we're showing you in the Bible that your ethnicity matters. Give me that real quick in um in the NIV translation. Yeah, preset? All right, come on. Well, actually, before you get that, oh yeah, come on. Let me bring this out real quick in the NIV. Right? So you, you got yours? All right. So give me this real quick in the NIV. Right? Let me see, uh, this is what I wanted. All right, uh, NIV. Uh, so we're gonna show you 
in a different translation. Right? Kind of make it more plainer. Come on this side, man. You know, come on this side. That's where you're supposed to be at. Right? Yeah, yeah. See that? Verse 9. Right? So listen to this real quick. Which, which Bible do you read, if you don't mind me asking? King James, okay, so we're going to show you in the NIV just to make it a little plainer, right? Because we also compare and translate, uh, compare and translation. Give me this real quick. Uh, this is Luke chapter 19, verse 9 in the NIV. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. So you see what Christ said? He said, this salvation has come to this house because this man is also a son of Abraham. So is he only saved because he is the son of Abraham? He's not only saved because he's the son of Abraham. Remember I said he was doing the works of Abraham, meaning he was doing the works to show it. But because he's the son of Abraham, that made him eligible for that salvation, oh. right? To even be saved, you have to come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from the chosen line, right? And we can show you that in Romans the ninth chapter. Give me Romans chapter 9, and verse number 1, all right? But uh, you got your precept, okay? Yeah, this is uh, Luke chapter 13, verse 16. So ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, mm. whom Satan has bound, you see that? think of it for 18 years, be loosened from this bound on the Sabbath. Right, and that's the equivalent of saying this daughter is a daughter of Abraham, meaning she come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shouldn't she be saved too? Shouldn't she be healed of her infirmity? You know what I'm saying? That's the equivalent of saying that. All right, so when it talks about the seed of Abraham, Paul talks about that as well. When he's saying the seed of Abraham, he's really talking about the chosen seed of Abraham. Because even in the book of uh, Genesis, the 22nd chapter, Abraham, when God told Abraham, do you know about uh, Abraham's temptation? Have you heard about that? When he had to, uh, he was told by God to deliver his son Isaac up to on the altar. So if you kind of remember that story, right? In Genesis, the 22nd chapter, God tells Abraham, take thy son, thine only son, Isaac. Hold on, Isaac, uh, uh, Isaac's not the first son of uh, Abraham, or the only son. He, I mean, he's the second son. But God told Abraham, take your son, your only son, Isaac. Only son. So when it talks about the seed of Abraham, right. it's really talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. right. That's what it's really talking about, right? You got a preset, King? Yeah, you got it. It's the book of St. John, chapter 8, and verse 39. Uh -huh. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Abraham is what? Abraham, Abraham is, is our father. father. It starts with Abraham, go ahead. Jesus said unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, right. ye would do the works of Abraham. Yeah, meaning that just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean that, okay, now... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be saved. You have to also do the works of Abraham. That's what I, you know, I had to, uh, you know, kind of explain that. But uh, let's go to Romans chapter 9 and verse 1. Right? Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Right, so now, let me ask you this, uh, brother. So, can, is everybody a child of God? Can I ask you that? Uh, not necessarily, no. Not necessarily, okay. So, what does it take to be a child of God? Okay, so no matter, so kind of what I'm getting at is no matter your ethnicity, you can be a child of God. Yes. Okay, so let's go to Romans 9 and 1. Let's... Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. And I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could oh, wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the spirit. According, according to the flesh. flesh. Spiritual Israel. According, according to the flesh. flesh. Placement theology. According, according to the to flesh. flesh. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who, Who are, are Israelites? Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises right so all that belongs to the israelites by flesh if you're not an israelite by flesh you you, you do not have those things right. the covenant does not belong to you salvation does not belong to you all these things that paul mentioned in verse 4 does not belong to you if you are not an israelite by flesh that's right right that's what he's saying there now skip down to verse 7. uh verse 7. Right. Verse 7, uh -huh. neither because they are are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Just because you come from Abraham doesn't make you an Israelite. Go ahead. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. 
and Isaac shall your seed be called. Meaning you have to come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be a child of God. Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. So if you're if you do not come from that line, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let's say you come from Abraham, Isaac, and, 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 and Edom, or you come from Abraham onto Ishmael, right? You don't come from that direct seed line. Go ahead. These are not the children of God. Wait, what did Paul say? These, These are, are not, not the, children the children of God. God. The Ishmaelites? These, These are, are not, not the children, children of God. God. But uh, but the halal food, though. These, These are, are not the children, children of God. God. They believe in Jesus Christ. These, These are, are not the children, children of God. God. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Only the children of the promise account for the seed. That's clear in the text. Plain in the text. Uh, right? It's not a parable. It's not anything else. You got it, King. Okay. You understand who God made a promise to? Yeah, and his people being who? Okay. Yeah, come on. That's right. That's right. Yep. He made a promise with Abraham. He passed that promise down to Isaac. He passed that promise down to Jacob. That's how the story goes. Right? When you read Genesis, it's clear. You know? Um, the Mosai rejected. It says in the book of Second Ezra, he set by Esau. <laughs> you know? He kind of moved Esau to the side. Get out of here, man. Hey, don't impede, don't impede the flow. Yeah, God, God. <laughs> he kicked it to the side, kicked it to the curb. And say, yeah, we're going to go with Jacob, man. All right? We're going to go to Jacob. So that's how it goes. So did we kind of answer your question on that, King? Okay, all praises. So I know a lot of people have this misconception that when it talk, talks about the Gentiles. Now, I'm going to kind of shed some light on the Gentiles real quick, right? Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Because the Gentiles, who do you think the Gentile is? Who's a Gentile? People who are not Jews, okay? That's a common definition, right? In fact, the, the, the Zondervan Dictionary, which is a dictionary of the Bible, right? It says, for the definition of Gentile, it says, most of the time, it means a non-Jew. But that's most of the time, though. That's not 100%, right? Most of the time, it means a non-Jew. So, yeah, come, right? That's what it says in that dictionary. I'm just quoting it for you for the second time. Now, here's the thing. In the Bible, Gentile goes back to the Hebrew word goy, which means nation, right? That's all it means, it means nation. So, Israelites were also called Gentiles as well. Can we show you that? Let's get it real quick. So, the, the, the people of the, uh, the Corinthians, for example, are they Gentiles or Jews? I'm not, I'm not so well versed in the Bible, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't okay, yeah, oh, oh, no doubt, no doubt, right? So let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 2. Hi, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You know that ye were what? Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So, if a Gentile is a non-Jew, right? Follow me here, right? If a Gentile is a non-Jew, a Jew is a, it's a nationality, it's an ethnicity. Not like how not everybody like if I if I'm a for example if I'm a so-called Chinese by ethnicity right not by nationality anything like that by ethnicity I cannot now switch my ethnicity to Mexican I cannot now switch my ethnicity to Japanese can you is that's not physically possible you are what you are you're you're born with what ethnicity you're born with right so if if, if Gentile was really about ethnicity how come Paul is saying, you know that ye were Gentiles. You guys were Gentiles in times past, but now you're not Gentiles. You can't switch ethnicity. You kind of follow me here? How can you stop being a Gentile? See, that's why, that's how you know it's not about ethnicity, necessarily. So it's, what's gonna happen to, to people who are, are not saved? Will they go to the lake of fire? Will they just be separate from excellent God? Excellent question. Excellent question. Yeah. You said what? Oh yeah, uh, no, no, you don't have to get that. Yeah, come. Um, so, so the brother asked, "What's going to happen to the other nations, basically, yeah. right, outside of Israel?" Uh. So let's go to uh, Isaiah fourteen and one. Let's go to Isaiah fourteen. Let's go to Isaiah fourteen and one. You know? Oh yeah, you got it. Huh? This is Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse one. Right. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, 
and will yet choose Israel. Nah, he's going to choose everybody. And will yet choose Israel. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. Because the real Israelites are not in their own land. Do you agree with that, sir? Do you agree that the real Israelites are not in their own land right now? Go ahead. Wake up, Esau. <laughs> and the strangers shall be joined with them. Hey, that's, hey, that's Biden right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Uh -huh. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall what? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob, man. Guess what, man? You're going to cleave to the house of Jacob in that day. Biden! Biden, Joe! Sleepy Joe! Right, go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaid. For what? For service and handmaids. For service and handmaids. BFF. For service and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We shall what? And they shall rule over their oppressors. They shall rule over their oppressors. That's what's going to happen to the other nations in the game. This is anti prophecy. There is not one historic scholarly. Uh, uh, um, uh, essential uh, event or account that fulfills this prophecy. This prophecy still needs to be fulfilled. That's right. right? So it's going to be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven. I know, right. I know it sounds unprecedented to hear something like that. In, in heaven? This slavery in heaven? What? Yeah. No, not my God. Not my God. Not my no, God. here's the thing though. This is, this, is, this is the Bible. It's not us. The Lord is prophesying that in the kingdom of heaven, when the Israelites go back to their own land, Israelites are in exile right now to this day. Right, we, we are the Israelites. And so when the Israelites go back to their own land, the Most High said he's going to bring these nations here and we're going to possess them. Meaning they're going to, we're going to own them. Just like how you possess that jacket, you possess those shoes, right? We possess these things. It's my shirt, right? It's my chain here, right? We're going to possess the, uh, the, the other nations that same way, right? And we're going to buy them and sell them. And even in uh, Joel, it says we're going to sell them to the Sabians, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna sell them. We're gonna sell them to uh, brother Ari. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? That's, that's that's the Bible, right? That's the Bible, and we're gonna rule over our oppressors. And no mercy in my plantation. Yeah, right. so no mercy, right? Now uh, let's let's go to verse three. Huh? This is Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse three. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Right. And from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You see that? So this is this is end time connotation, meaning that this is when the Israelites will finally receive, uh, essentially rest from their bondage and from their sorrow. Man, in that day we're going to receive that. You see that? So it's going into the same thing. Now give me a uh, real quick Revelation chapter two, right? Quick on the sword, man. Revelation two. Let's see what can be faster, man. It's a race out here. You know what I'm saying? Two. Revelation. Oh, yeah, Kai. Oh, yeah, oh, praise <laughs> Yeah, Kai. Chapter 2, right? Verse number uh, 26. Verse 26. Uh -huh. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Uh -huh. And he hath overcome it and keepeth my works until the end. Right. To him I, I give power over the nations. Right. So here's the thing. Let me ask you this, brother. As a Christian, are you you're a Christian, right? I don't like putting labels. I don't know what I am. I say I like to follow the Bible. You're an Israelite. That's right. right. From the right. tribe of Issachar. Okay, so let me ask you this, right? Because we don't really call ourselves Christians either because that name has been tainted. Average Christian nowadays is walking around in high heels and, I mean, a, a male Christian. This is high heels, talking about, talking about, yeah, right? Talking about, you know. Period. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the average Christian nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And you have saucy say, Satan. You know saucy say, uh, say, it's like Santana. <laughs> saucy Satan. I mean Santana. Yeah. You know saucy Santana? Have you heard of him? Thank what God. he? Uh, what's he saying? Uh, he's rapper. like uh, Salaki. He's like uh, what's his name that did the lap dance on Satan? Nas X. Yeah, yeah, he's like Lil Nas X. Here's the thing. That, that, yeah, like exactly. That. That's the average yeah, Christian. A hey, saucy <laughs> Santana. He has a cross on his neck. He wears a cross on his neck. You see that? But he's a outwardly homosexual, right? An outwardly homosexual, right? That is just, you know, all over the place. And he raps about a lot of wicked things. So here's the thing, as a 
But uh, let me ask you this. You believe in Christ, right? Okay. So as a Christ believer, do you want to receive Christ's blessings? Right. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's the thing. Do you want to rule over the nations? Do you want to rule over those that oppress you, brother? Do you want to rule over? Do you want to take a stick and beat the so-called white man in? Say, get to work? I don't. You don't want to do that? Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Give me, give me revelation. Does it give not revelation. say that? The vengeance give me revelation. You say what? Vengeance is for God to take, not us. Okay, but here's the thing. Give me Ezekiel 25, 14. Give me Ezekiel 25, 14. Right? That's true. That, that is true in one fold. Like, for example, we're not going to take up arms right now and start killing the so-called white men right now. That's not what we're finna do. Right? That's, 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 that's not what we're finna do. That's not what God wants us to do. The most I said, wait on the Lord. He said that. He said, wait on the Lord. So we're going to wait on the Lord. But give me Ezekiel 25, 14. How does he exact his vengeance? How does he, how does he uh, 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 get his vengeance out? Let me ask you that. Second coming, and I have a sword coming out of his mouth. The word. Yeah, no, that, that that is true. Christ is going to do it. Christ is going to do it. But he's also going to use his people to do it as well, right? Let's go to Ezekiel twenty-five fourteen. This is Ezekiel chapter twenty-five verse fourteen. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. What the Lord say? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Hey, hey y'all, hear this precept right now. Go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Right. By the hand of my people, Israel. And they shall, by the hand of my what? By the hand of my people, Israel. So the Lord said, I'm going to give vengeance to Esau, and I'm going to do so by the hand of my people, Israel. You see that? So what does that mean? He's going to use the Israelites to exact vengeance upon the, the, uh, the other nations. Yeah, sorry to oh, that's right. I kind of got to go, but thank Okay, you yeah, guys. all praises, brother. All praises, have a good one. Good dialogue, man. You're an Israelite, all right? You is your life, Remember man. all your questions next week and you come back to do the same thing, yeah. brother. John, that's, that's right. Work, it's the car! It's that's the right. car! That's right, man. All praise. All praise, man. Right? But that's Christ's blessings, man, to rule over the nations. That's literally. right. Said to him that, that uh, uh, overcometh, to him will I get power over the nations. Ah. Right? So, I mean... You know, what Christianity has done to our people. Come here to the word, sis. Come here to the word, sis. Yeah, put it in If you're not going to hear the word, you take the box, sis. Nah, she ain't trying. Yeah, you never know, man. Check that out. All right. You know? But, so, did the brother have questions? Did the brother have questions? Uh, he just said uh, he's been watching us for months. So. Oh, okay. All praise. Right. All praise. All praise. Nigeria. So. Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's been laboring. He's just trying to. Uh, Ari, y'all hooked him up with another Bible because he lost it. So. Okay. Yeah, he just came out here to get the word. Yeah. That's right. Uh, that's uh, right. Hey, all praises, man. All praises. Uh, the word going out, man. Praises. Hey. Right. That's what's up. So, what Christianity has done to our people is made them docile, made them. Let's go to uh, Genesis 49 and 8 real quick. Right. This is Judah right now. This is Israel right now. You know, the very docile saint. You know, especially Judah, as uh, it says right here. Right? Yeah, you got it. Genesis 49, verse 8. Uh -huh. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall pray. To praise. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Right? So, amongst the other tribes, the Mosah said Judah is going to get the praise. Right? Now, how do you say Judah in the Hebrew? It's Yahweh, meaning praise Yahweh, right? So that's spiritual as well. Go ahead. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Where is Judah at? Judah is the only tribe that doesn't have their allotted land, right? Where is all land at, right? We was literally brought over here and then they kind of say, yeah, let us uh, just let you go, right? And then now we just in the, in the neck of our enemies right now, right? I mean, at least a Levi to go back to uh, land in, uh, Haiti, right? <laughs> the Simeonites can go back to Dominican Republic, right? Dominican, a hey, the uh, <laughs> you see, hey, the uh, the Benjamites can go back to the West Indies and uh, Jamaica, right? Hey, but where's where's Judah's land at? You go back to uh, what Liberia, right? 
with the capital the capital called Monrovia after President Monroe, the Edomite. Right? Not going. I'm not going there. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. You see that? Go ahead. Judah is a lion's whelp. Judah is a lion's whelp. Well, Judah, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Go ahead. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rise him up? Shall what? Who shall rise him up? Shall what? Who shall rise him up? Who's going to rise Judah up, man? Who's going to rouse Judah up because Judah is docile right now? Sweet. Judah is asleep, man. Who's going to wake Judah up? Right? Who's going to rouse him up? Yahweh. Right? Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is going to rouse him up, man. Right? See, see, Judah's the lion's welcome to want to lay back all day. You know what I'm saying? Smoke his weed. Chill out. You know? Play the PlayStation. You know? Play a... Uh, and hop on the game, man. Hop on the game, man. You know, NBA 2K. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Judah is docile right now. Right? But the most I say, who's going to rouse him up through the spirit? Right? Who's going to rouse him? Who's going to get him roused up again? To rouse up the other tribes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, verse 10. The spectra shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet you until Shiloh comes. Until right. Shiloh comes. Who is Shiloh? Yeah. yeah. Shiloh is Yahweh Shiloh. Right? Man say, I'm from hell. And unto him <laughs> shall the gathering of the people be. Unto Shiloh shall the gathering of the people be. So that's how that's letting you know who Shiloh is. Because we're gonna be gathered unto Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Binding his fall, his fall unto the vine. And his and his ass is caught unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine. He what? He washed his garments in wine. That's how you know it's letting you know who that is. Letting you know that that's Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. And his clothes in, in the blood of grapes. And his clothes in the blood of grapes. Now, what's that on a spiritual level? Your clothing, your garment is your spirit, right? That's what, that's what it is. The philosophy, the doctrine, the wisdom, that's your garment, and you want to wash that in the wine, in, in the blood of the grapes, right? Let's go to uh, Revelation 16, the verse number 15, right? We're, we're going to keep going in that, but we're going to get, yeah, come on. We're going to get uh, Revelation 16, 15 real quick, all right? So he's going to wash them in the blood of the grapes. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Uh, Behold, I come as a thief. I come as a what? I come, I come as a thief. thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Blessed is he that uh blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. You want to keep your garments, man. Alright? You want to keep them. You don't want to just Yeah, you know, just walk free freely out here. A liberal spirit out here. It's walking freely. Feeling the breeze, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep your garments. You want to keep your garments, man. What's going on, brother? You believe in the Bible? Oh, yeah. All praises, brother. All praises. For sure. For sure. All praises. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. Back. So, when it says that he washed his garments in, in wine, it's talking about that he's renewing his spirit. He has a new spirit. You know what I'm saying? His spirit is clean. Because when you, I mean, nobody's really going to do that, though. If this, this is literal, I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would you wash your garments and why? It's not going to get washed. It's going to just stain it. Right? But as the Most High says, he uses parables. Right? Yeah, come on. He uses parables. Go ahead. Verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Uh, Zebulun shall dwell at the haven of, of the sea, and he shall be for a haven of ships. Yeah, so Zebulun, right, which is Zebulon. So Zebulon, right, when you go into that, it says that he shall dwell in the haven of ships. Why is it saying that? It's because when you look at Central Americans, right, 
you have something what's called the Panama Canal, right? You have the Panama Canal. So the Panama Canal is very, very crucial to getting goods from the east to the west. Instead of them going all the way down near uh, Brazil, going all the way down there by Chile and coming back up, they just go through the Panama Canal. So that's why America came in and, recon and, and constructed uh, a little canal there to kind of, hey, look, we need this money fast, man. We need this, this commodity fast. So how can we get it through the land? They said, hey, look, we can make a little canal right here, right? So it says that Zebulon shall dwell between the haven of ships, right? And that shows you the location where Zebulon is going to be at, right? But there is only one verse on Zebulon, though, in this chapter. Go ahead. Um, and he shall be a haven of ships. Okay. And his border shall be unto Zidon. And his border shall be unto Zidon. What is that going into? The Zidonians, the Omecs. You have a lot of Omec heads being found where? In Central America. His border shall be unto Zidon. Going into the Omecs, man. Right? Go ahead. Issachar, oh, verse 14. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. The two burdens we was going into this last camp, the two burdens is going into the two bodies of water that surrounds where Issachar is today. The Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean. Those are the two burdens, right? Now it says that Issachar is a strong ass. In fact, they have their animal, which is the burro, which is the donkey. That's their animal, man. You see that? That's their animal, literally. The donkey. So why is it the donkey though? I mean, is that just out of coincidence? Nah, man. In their spirit, they know that they're a strong ass. Go ahead. And he saw that that rest was good. Uh -huh. uh, verse, I'm sorry, verse 15, so lucky. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And he saw that rest was good. And the land that is was pleasant. Uh -huh. And bowed his shoulder to bear. Right. And become a servant unto tribute. And become a servant unto tribute, man. You see that? Meaning taking up every work that he can take up. All right, he's going to do it. He's going to fulfill it. All right. Now, uh, my brother, do you have any uh, questions, anything? No. Okay, I'll phrase. Uh, do you believe you're an Israelite? You said what? Person. Person. Okay. Person. Okay. So what? What? So what is? What is God? What is your God given nationality though? Nationality. I mean, every detail of everything. Everything that you do. Nationality comes from you know what I, what I deem God as all things, all at all times. Oh, okay. Well, you know that uh, God, but moving forward though, like the thing that grows is like the whole, yeah. Well, you know, you know that God, um, he 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 deals with nations, he created everybody upon the planet, he gave them specific, specific, a specific nation. Give me a uh, Genesis, it's like your uh. Give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 32 and verse number 8, right? He gave everybody a specific nation. So we, what we are here to do is we're trying to identify who is God's people, who is not God's people, right? That's our job because, you know, we're only sent to God's people, you know? It's only, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a chosen race upon this earth, you know? Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse number 8. Yeah, please. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. Uh -huh. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Right. When he separated the sons of Adam. When he did what? When, when he, he separated, separated the, the sons, sons of Adam. Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So he divided. He separated the sons of Adam. Right? He made Ham go this way. He made Shem go that way. He made Japhet, uh, Japhet go that way. Because these are different nations. He didn't want everybody together, you know? Even in Genesis 11, when all the nations were together in the Tower of Babel, he separated them and gave them each their own language so that they can't communicate. So the reason why that is, is... And when they did get together, look at the wickedness they did. Yeah. Every time we, every time human beings, mankind got together, they, they decide to rebel against the Most High. Yeah. That's, that's why he separated them. There you go. Them. Yeah. Exactly. So we have to make sure and identify because, again, let me ask you this. Oh, it's like, yeah, preset? Yeah, it was just, just a, uh, along with that one. In uh, Syrac? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can read it out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you got it. It's the book of Syrac, chapter 17 and verse 17. 
For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, right. he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Yeah, Israel is the Lord's portion. You see that? The Mosai is ruling over Israel. You see that? And God is the God that the Israelites own. Do you agree with that? God of only that. I don't even know how to say who he is or who. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. Everything. Have you ever you heard of the Israelites before? Yeah. Okay, come on. You familiar with okay. that? You familiar with Moses and his delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt, slavery? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go to uh, Exodus 3 and verse 10. Give me the book of Revelation 21 verse 4. That's why it's very important to see who is Israel and who is not. All right? Right. You know? Let's go to Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 3, verse 10. Uh -huh. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Nah, all people. My people, the, like the children of Israel, out of Egypt. He said, bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Right. You see that? So God's people, it's evident, evidently clear in the Bible. God's people is the children of Israel. See that? That never changed, ever. It never changed, even to this day. Let's go to, uh, give me a uh, First Peter 2 and 9. Give me that in the ESV. All right? ESV, English Standard Version. Give me uh, Revelation 21 and 10. Revelation 21 verse, you said about 10? Like Revelation 21 verse 12. Bring it up. And, a, and had a wall great and high. All right. And had 12 gates. How, how, how many gates in heaven? 12, 12 gates. gates. How many gates in the kingdom? 12, 12 gates. gates. And at the gates, 12 angels, uh -huh. and the names of their own, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So in the kingdom of heaven, 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, we're talking about heaven, right? Now, where is the gate for all the other nations at? You know what I'm saying? 13th gate. 13th gate, 14th gate, 15th gate. Heathens. Right? Yeah, the heathens. So the heathen gate, the so gate for the heathens. One gate. Right? They believe one gate anyway. So that's the yeah. That's why they tell you it's only one gate. There's really 12 gates for 12 specific tribes of the children of Israel. Right? Give me uh, Revelation 7, verse 1. Or it's like Revelation 7, verse 4. The elect of God, the chosen that will be saved. Part of Israel. Let's 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 see that real quick in the Bible. Right. Revelation, Revelation chapter seven verse four. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter four, chapter seven verse four. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. No, of all nations. Of the children of Israel. Israel. See that? So the hundred forty-four thousand elect men are of the children of Israel. So we got the 144,000 there of Israel. They're you know what I'm saying? You said who? They're, they were the children of Israel. Yeah, they're the children of Israel. I'm talking about the elect of God in Revelation chapter 7. The elect of God was the children of Israel. Yes. Yeah. But it was only men yeah. that, that, that were the children. Yeah, so this, so the 144,000, they're the elect of the elect. Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah. the elect. Definitely, yeah. So that's like Peter, Andrew, you know what I'm saying? These top men of the earth, right? They're a part of that, that number right there. Yep. So uh, so did you see the sign right here, brother? The sign is on the 12th tribe. So, yep, there you go. The ethnic groups that they're called by today. Yeah. So where would you where would you fall at, brother? As the, as the, as the world will call you. Like yes. when you have to fill out a job application. Yeah. Say anything. I say, yeah. I wouldn't okay. say, I wouldn't say white. Right. I, right. I say Dominican, though, I'm not Dominican. Okay, so what, what is your your father? They said uh, my dad was a Viking, but my mom said he was from Narnia. I don't know what the hell that is. We're from a music place. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, okay. Like, like where? You said a music place? Like what? Like what you mean by that? But she can explain know, it better. Yeah, but oh, even though if you were adopted, it don't matter. Like, a lot of us don't know where we came from, kid, because we yeah. were taken into slavery. They make slave movies all the time to show us that we were brought in slavery. 
so a lot of our people yeah. got mixed up, so we don't know. Yeah, this, but, this is where they try to do. Never mind. Yeah. But, yeah, no, you got but, it? Yeah, go ahead. You can no. say what you was going to say. It was about having a, it was about having people from different places all in one place. So they could have the United States, states of mind. Yeah. And then having a the field that could control them and make them appear in different places, pop them, put them to sleep, yeah. using the phone and shit, shit like that, technology. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but when we went into slavery on ships, everybody was scattered, so we don't know our true history. So if you yeah. not doing your history, that's one of the curses in the Bible. We yeah, we, we're going to show you right right quick, too. That's a curse that's put upon us, right? That's, yeah, I got you. That's a curse that's put upon us. Let, it, now, let me ask you this, or let me tell you this real quick. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're living in bad conditions. The reason why we are, the reason why we had to go to slavery, the reason why we were oppressed, first fired, last hired, right? The reason why, you know, all these things that happen to us, the reason why we get shot down in the streets innocently all the time, the only reason why it happens to us is because we're God's people and we sin against Him. So by doing so, He cursed us, right? Sin against the rule. Yeah, we we went against His rule. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 32. Uh, it's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who does that sound like? It sounds like us. It sounds like the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Americans. Our sons and our daughters was given unto another people. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Right. Our, our eyes will fail and for look, looking for, for them all the day long. We'll fail for it, man. Right? You know, in slavery, they show us in the movies all the time. Our sons and our daughters would get shipped off to another slave master, and we couldn't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And there shall be what? And there shall be no might in thine there, hand. There shall be no might in thine hand, man. You see that? And this is all the Lord is doing. It's all the Lord is doing. Right? You ever wonder why the so-called blacks, how come we went into slavery? I mean, because we, uh, because as it, as the thing, I believe, could uh, understand it, we we had a, a different connection to the spirit and the soul of the body. They probably figured it out through whatever system they use, because people amass all the information on the systems and shit. And then, because our soulful connection, we would uh, we'd be able to talk a little bit from a deeper point. Everybody can, everybody does it, we just have a different understanding of it. Like the Spanish, they might be family. They might be like more uh, family, like their group. Whites might be like, you can see it on the surface, how they group together, how they do their ideas, Asians, technical shit. And, but our shit seems to go like so. But everybody does, really. It just depends where you're hearing it from and where you're at. But okay, our well, shit just is like, it's a little bit more like. Well, but, but, little, but here's the thing though. Why, everybody's though, you just gotta why, be in a, the right people. Okay, but how come they went to West Africa? They could've went to South Africa. They could've went to East Africa. Could have went to North. They came to us in specific and sold us. You know what I'm saying? They sold us and they put us in slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, it goes like this: the things could grow from the center out. So you start at the low. So you start at the earlier point instead of going to the further point. So if you start on the west, you get them, then you might affect the ones on the east. If something's growing. Where's the thing that the, I guarantee you West Africa is what, what, it's, it's, what the West Coast? If you're talking about geography, you're talking about geography, brother. The slave ships came from Europe. So North Africa is is closer to Europe than West Africa. They had to pass up all those countries and come to us where we was at. The reason why that is is because it's, it, it was because of God. It was it was only because of God, brother. Right? It's because we, the Lord's people, and as you said, we went against his rules. And so by doing so, he put curses on us and put us in slavery in specific. He didn't put, he didn't put you know what I'm saying, the Chinese in slavery, like how he put us in slavery, right? And all the other nations. Actually, they came over here while we was in slavery. They didn't even help us, right? You said what? I don't know. I know that they put in slavery as they see it, and they can identify it, but it seems like something else put people in slavery. Like other things more. Okay, well, more of ideas, give me 68, right? The cold cutter, right? Give me the cold cutter verse. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Tell me who this happened to. Give me verse 68. 
This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So that word Egypt means bondage, slavery. I'll tell you that in the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. It says Egypt is a land of bondage. Bondage means slavery. So in the, in the Hebrew, the word Egypt goes back to the word um, matazarium, which means slavery or captivity, right? That's essentially what it means. So when we go back to this, it says, and the Lord shall bring you into slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. With ships, right? Let that sink in. So going into slavery on ships, right? Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So who did that happen to in slavery? That went to slavery on ships, they didn't go back home, and they were sold as bondmen and bond women, meaning slave men and slave women. Who did that happen to in history? Uh, all people on earth. All people on earth? So, so can you give me a time which that happened to the Europeans? They White working. Europeans? They working all day. These cars are moving weird. We just waking up. I mean, I don't know. Shit. I don't know, man. Different, different planes, different situations. They got these buildings and shit. People, man, it's, it's crazy, bro. Technology doing crazy shit, bro. Okay, well, let me inform you. It wasn't all people on the earth, brother. It was only one specific yeah, nation on the earth that went to slip. That fulfills this prophecy. And that's us, brother. We the only ones that went to slavery on ships. You can't show me a time in which the so-called white man did that, or he went through that. You can't show me a time in which the, the Chinese went through that, the Japanese. You can't show me a time in which the Arabs went through it because they was the one that was doing it to us. Right. Right. They were the ones that was doing it to us, brother. Right? They were not the captives, they were the captors. You understand? We are the oppressed, they are the oppressed source. So how are you gonna deal with that moving forward rather than the history of it? Like what you gonna do as a black Israelite? Like what you wanna do as a group to help the community grow rather than arguing debate over political. <laughs> We're political not arguing. I'm just saying like, you okay, can talk the about thing, the history. The thing. Anybody can argue about Let's, that, but okay. like, what about what you gonna for do? Sure, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna show hospital? you what we're gonna do. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 verse one. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, let's go to uh, 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 um, Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. Right, give me Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. This is the solution. Come on, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou shalt what? If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What are saying out here? If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So in sinning and going against the Most High and doing our own thing, God is to this predicament that we're in right now. The only way to reverse it is to keep the commandments. Man. That's right. If we was breaking the commandments, we got to keep the commandments. That's right. So that's why we are here, brother, to teach the commandments. That's and right. to also be that righteous example to the best of our ability. Right, go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Will set thee on what? Will set thee on high. Now he's gonna set you low. Will, Will set, set thee on high, high. Go ahead. above all nations of the earth. So that's how we fix the predicament that we in. We already tried everything else. We tried the nation of Islam. We tried Muslims. We tried Christianity. You know what I'm saying? We tried, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, Catholicism. You know what I'm saying? Ezekiel uh, three and verse seventeen, right? We tried, uh, um, um, voodoo. So beliefs probably ain't working. <laughs> Actions is the only thing. Exactly. It don't tell you how to act. It tell you what rules to follow. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. But don't tell but you. But isn't that don't action? Isn't that action? To do is action. No, but to believe is different. Belief sets up your mind and forms your mind with an inability to go further because you argue the point instead of going, well, shit. You know what I mean? It really don't matter. What can we do like to help each other out? Well, here's the thing. How can I show my belief? By doing what? You can talk about it. That's it. Talking about it, but well, talk, but as church. you just said, talk is not talk is just talk. God is the God of action. So well, as we, much we, as we, I, we people of action too. Okay, that yeah, belief, exactly. If that belief hinders us from doing anything in the community, if we're, or if we're not doing anything in the community, why are we going to be talking about belief all day? That's like, hey, let, this is what I believe. This is what I believe. the thing, though. Everybody got different beliefs. I know, yeah, that's right. But we're saying that you have to believe in the Bible, the God of the Bible. That's right. what we're saying out here. Right. Everybody has their own beliefs. Yeah, that's cool. But it ain't gonna be cool when your Shah come back and now you meeting your Shah talking about, yeah, uh, 
Uh, I, I I believed in voodoo, but uh, you know, nah, man, you gotta believe in the Bible. They don't deny nobody on what belief is. It's just we all people. So we're going to work on what we got in common. It's just feelings, uh, family, community. That's it. It don't matter what you believe. You community, believe. but, but the you, thing is, belief is cool. That's will, we, will we unite it upon, man? We got to unite under something. We, we got to unite under something. We have feelings. We have happiness, sadness, kindness. Give me uh, Amos 3 and 3. Give me Amos 3 and 3. Was this love? Or is all this love right here? Because we tried that, what you're talking about. Yeah. Get along. The get along gang. Get along. Yes, get along with white people, get along with everybody. Yeah, along and every time we get along with somebody, this is what happened. This is the end result of us getting yeah, along. Getting along don't got nothing to do with being nice to somebody. It just means, you know, respecting and understanding their point of view. It don't mean arguing with them. Okay, yeah, that's cool. But the thing is, as the brother is saying, so are you saying we should unite with the so-called white man? I'm saying you should unite with uh, yourself and feeling. Unite within the feelings among people. If, if okay. we all share these certain feelings, right, but what unite about amongst so the higher, higher feelings. It don't mean, hey, you, like, you like this shit, I don't like this shit. You like this hey, shit, brother, I don't like this shit. Hey, you try to deflect from me. What about the so-called white man? What, what about him? Should we unite with him or no? Yes, we unite with everybody. What? What do you mean unite? Why? Why, Why not? He's the oppressor. What the fuck is he oppressing? Yeah, right, right. So you not oppressed right now? I don't feel oppressed. Well, like, okay, what? Go ahead, Keith. My brother. I feel belief is depression. Now look at this right quick, Ken. If they're not oh. right. Now, and then, and then, and then oh, real quick, and then the elder pointed out, and this is not to disrespect you in any way, brother, but you're wearing an ankle monitor, right? Yeah. Because you, you was locked up, obviously, at yeah. one point in time. So is this not oppression that we predominantly see black people in the prisons? Other than, well, depression. outside of any other race, we I mean, see predominantly. Yeah, I don't know how far you can see or what groups you didn't talk to or how far I can take it with you. I mean, if you want to really talk about what depression is, depression, the main depression comes from not having the education itself, which then falls down on the, the society, the economy, people doing businesses, and then people taking advantage of that because they don't not talk about money and how worth makes them feel and how having a bunch of cash makes you feel. So it's depression of the mind and your feelings. So you can say white people, but I'm not blaming white people on all of uh, negativity. Like they didn't create negativity. Negative negativity is a being in itself at its purest what, what, What's your name, fam? Yeah, yeah, David. David. David? Yeah. Okay, so, but look, David, David. The whole system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody just get that named. definition for me. They right. Said it. And, um, and, and, okay, uh, but David, uh, we just uh, use David. We just use right. David. And uh, what but I what I uh, tell you? Oh yeah, yeah Amos three and three. So, so give me this real quick too, Kenny. Right. Is what they set up. They put that in place. I don't believe that, bro. That don't even make sense. Well, he, well here's the thing, brother. It's like, saying, it, it's like saying that okay, one no. person created everything. What came before that? So what came, if you have hate, hate at its purest form can actually be a person. It's an actual per. It can, it can be a person. Which is the so-called white man. That's what we're trying to tell you, brother. That's right. It's the so-called white man. He went around the whole globe and rape, rob, and murder the whole globe, man. That's right. We're not holding hand with Esau, man. Right. We're not holding hand with the so-called white man. And then tell you to follow the rules. Right. Tell you to follow the rules. Y'all sound like y'all telling people to follow the rules, or it's not cool. Like, what you mean? What if someone? What if a white dude right there and he cool? You you going? You ain't gonna be like, what's up to him? No. Nah. You nah. like, you're not gonna like him because nah. understand what is he? It's not, it's not about the skin the color. Shirt, it's about different. what he did to us, brother. So He's our enemy. Sixth grade, nigga, you forever going to be talking about all, yeah, all, all white people? That ain't the same yeah, white yeah, person. Somebody, uh, give me some right, uh, 12 and uh, 10. Same white give me uh, uh, Amos chapter 3 verse 3. This was good. He, good and I, I, I'm being like this because you got God first on your shirt, right? So yeah. as as somebody as somebody that believes in God, I'm like, man, you gotta believe, you gotta submit yourself to what the Bible say, brother. Right. Right? right? Let's go to Amos three and three. Come on, this is Amos chapter three, verse three. Uh -huh. Can two walk together? Can what? Can, can two, two walk, walk together? together? The Lord say, can, can two walk, walk together? Hold a hand, hand. Can, can two walk, walk together? together? Right. Except they be agreed. Except they be what? Except, Except they, they be, be agreed. agreed. I, I guarantee you, you do not agree with every single thing that the so-called white man stands for, brother. Can, can two people walk in the same shoes? Here's can the thing. Walk it, that's not what it's saying, though. That's, that's not what, what it's they, saying. It's saying can two bro. walk together unless they be agreed. Right? It, it, it's not talking about the shoes. You can have whatever shoes unless you they want agree on. To. So if you but, say, yeah, if, what if you disagree? Yeah. Here's the thing, brother. You can't hold hands and hand with Esau. Look. look Give me Proverbs 11, man. Give me Proverbs 11, verse 21. Here's the thing. You can't walk with Esau unless you agree with him. Yeah. So do you agree with the so-called white man about this? Do you agree with this? If you are, are united with the so-called white man, you agree with the rape, rob, and murder of your people, That's brother. Right. That's what you stand for. Right. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay. 
So I, I don't know, man. Are you Israelite? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't right? say I was. You got the spirit of Esau right now, bro. I'm just saying, we're growing. You got the spirit of Esau right now. Like, like, I'm Esau not going right to limit myself and be like, that's like saying, do you agree with that play? Like, what you mean? That's like saying, do you agree with that play that just happened? Really? A motherfucker going be like, no, man, fuck that, fuck that. You know, that's a no crazy play, question. This not what, are you gonna do? what are you going to do in the community, though? I had a whole little thing. What you doing in the community, bro? I'm trying to get my shit on. Okay, so what you doing? I already went up against my demon on I don't know where you at now. It's a lot of team. So I know you have a question of, as far as what we're doing, but you haven't really give us, given us in a, a substantial amount of time to be able to explain what it is that we're doing to change our communities, because it is progress. You're forcing beliefs on us. No, we're not. It is ah, progress. You, okay, you're putting beliefs out there. Hold, 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 hold on real quick, King. It, it has been major progress amongst all of the brothers over here. It's brothers here that's, that came out of prison. It's brothers here that came out of a gang-banging culture. It's brothers here that came out of a pimping culture. It's brothers here that came out of an uh, uh, impoverished culture. Does that you know mean saying? you can't go further than what your beliefs Of go? course. That's why we're making progress right now, because otherwise we'd still be in those same conditions. So what's, you see what's, what's, so what's further than... Than just discussing it. Give what us some time. Give us some time. We're gonna explain that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I yeah, one last thing? Yeah. For instance, one thing that we we do implement is we we put funds in, into a system each month, right? Yeah, and and to help. And if a brother needs uh, help on say a bill, like uh say a brother needed to pay his rent recently, check me out. Two thousand dollars on his rent. He said hey, we got over three hundred brothers in the congregation. Hey, every brother chip in ten dollars. Hey, guess what? That brother didn't pay his rent now. Because all he needed was about, what, 20 brothers to pay $2,000 in rent. Yeah, that happened with me. You see what I'm saying? Problem. So yeah, we're helping our brothers out. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's bringing a lot of change within our communities. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But you got to keep Exactly. That's only a small portion. We're doing a lot more. Yeah. You understand? But we're not going to finish just be out here and say everything that we finna do. Because God says when you do your arms, do it in secret. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? So we ain't finna tell the whole world like Drake. Right? Yeah. God's plan. Right. Heading right. out the money and hey, man. just heading out the money, everybody crying. Right. Get, make sure you get the scene. Make sure you get it, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Video We're not doing it. that. Right. Yeah, 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 tape yeah. it. Yeah. Video yeah. Tape Pull it the is. phone out. Oh, Here you man. go. We're not doing all that. Yeah. 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 We, we, we ain't doing it like that. We're going to do it behind the scenes. We're trying to reach the people right here instead of the phone. We, you know what we're doing? We're provoking thoughts. we making you think. Yeah. That this, this whole here. system. It's corrupt, yeah, man. It is online. We got a channel, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. pushing it. You know what I'm saying? I came across this, this platform through YouTube. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of us actually did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We came across the YouTube. Pulled up the channel. On the YouTube just you know? today. Never yeah. met this brother. He just Every pulled up today. Yeah, he pulled up. Because of the YouTube. Oh, hey, all that praise. brother. All praise. That brother. Yeah. That brother. Yep. Me. Yep. Yeah, we all pulled right up here. because of the channel because we saw brothers doing the work. We came and done it. And all of us brothers drive hours to get here. Like we don't, we not right here in that building and we walk over here. We coming from hours. So we use yeah. our gas, our money, and our time. And not that we bragging, but that's what we're commanded to do. Right. right. So because you we saw right, uh, 12 and 10. Yeah, exactly. We're going to bring out what the Bible says to you, brother. Go ahead. Uh, Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Uh -huh. Never trust thine enemy. What the Lord say? Never, Never trust, trust thine, thine enemy. enemy. No, you can trust him. Never, Never trust, trust thine, thine enemy. enemy. Never, Never trust, trust thine, thine enemy. enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Go ahead. For like, a, for like as iron rusteth, so, so is, is his, his wickedness. wickedness. Just like how iron is going to rust, is guaranteed to rust. So is his wickedness. It's, it's going to guarantee to show up. Right? No, that's the same thing with the so called wicked. So, you know what I'm saying? We can't trust them. He says, the Bible says for us not to trust the so called way. Right? Because he's our enemy. Give me uh, Proverbs. Yeah, the article. Yeah, that means. Right? Yeah, you got it. So, this is an article from ABC 7 New York. It says, Man found dismembered in Fridge in Brooklyn was killed in dispute over unpaid rent, police say. Now, that's a white person. It was two white couples that killed a black man and chopped him up in a refrigerator recently Damn. because he didn't pay his rent. It's a white man, yeah, but two white people. All white this people. stuff is happening, and this is the stuff that makes the news. Yes. Right? It's yes. the stuff that makes the news. Yes. So we know a lot of different things is happening behind the scenes. Go ahead. Detectives believe his body chilling inside the refrigerator for nearly two years. Nearly how long? For nearly two years. Not two months. Woo! For nearly two years. Two years, man. That's crazy. Two years. It's like, man, it's, 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 and who knows how the body looked 
after uh, oh being in a refrigerator God. two years, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even have uh, a uh, 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 you know what I'm saying beef Bonnie that long Bob. in the fridge, right, man. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, man. <laughs> Your key beef there for the fridge. Hey, so yeah, give me a uh, Proverbs 11 verse 21. Oh, this is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 21. Right. Don't hand join in hand. What the Lord say? Don't, Don't hand, hand join in hand. Unite. Don't Go hand ahead, join in hand. Community. Don't Go hand ahead, join in hand. The wicked shall not be unpunished. So, brother, you hear that? If you wicked. hold hands in hand with Esau, I mean, the wicked still gonna be a, uh, the wicked still gonna be punished, brother. That's right. The wicked still gonna be punished, brother. That's, right. That's what we try to warn you out here, man. All right. Go ahead. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But the seed of the righteous is gonna be delivered at the end of the day. That's right. right? The seed of the righteous. That's, That's right. what's going to get you saved, man. The most high's mercy and the righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, brother? Oh, spirit. Come on, yes. Yeah, say what you want to say. Right? Yeah, everybody's love. Everybody's love. So, Lucky, I was going to make a point. The brother, he left, but I was going to tell him, yeah. hey, he's been in the penitentiary, and he can't go nowhere near where them woods is in that penitentiary. Yep. They probably got a shank bigger than this staff I'm holding right. that they're going to hit him with if he come anywhere near. Right. So, he know it. Like you can't yeah. deal with him, even him. if he is a cool one. Walk over there and try to talk to him and watch what's gonna happen. Right. <laughs> and I understand you, brother. I hear y'all talking about the Chicano is our brother, which I don't doubt that. But it's the same thing. If you walk over to a Mexican clique in, in the pen, they gonna get you. You can't do nothing with a Mexican. In Check the this out, though, Salaki. And y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, right? But more often than not, you'll have the Puerto Ricans teaming up with the Jacobs inside the world. Side, right? Con. Or, or uh, the Cubans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even though yeah, they're, 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 it depends though, but yeah. you know, they be, they'll be like called other, others. Others. Like, yeah, others. They, they, others. They, they, they sticking with Hispanics. Because they, wait, I've been Not there, bro. I've been there. What you mean? Okay. We all been there. Okay. Uh, I know right. what you mean, but at the, yeah. at the end of the day, there's, they against you. there's, yeah, well, ain't no unity hey, with them Hey, Jake is against Jake. You know what I'm well, saying? I know, brother. So it's like brother. you got Christian yeah. bloods out here. That's well, just, I understand just that. Bad. I agree saying? with you. But like yeah. I say, we all what we what we saying is we all been corrupted and tainted by this man's philosophy, and that's why our our, our Hispanic brothers have that hostility towards our, our black brothers, and why we got our hostility towards each other, man. The scriptures even say that. Brothers, All right. brothers, such and such, yeah, such and such. but it's, it's it's the hatred that we have for each other because we've been taught by the devil right. to do these things. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we get paid to hate each other. So lock here, real quick too. And the Bible talks about how these other tribes would envy Judah. Yes, yeah, bring exactly. that out. Yeah, bring that exactly. out. Judah is the top tribe. Is that, uh, oh yeah. Also, uh, give me yeah. Zechariah 11 verse 14. Yeah, 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 Isaiah, I, believe uh, that. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, we influence Isaiah everybody in the earth. 12. Right. So, exactly. Real quick, real quick. Now, when you see Issachar having his hatred towards Judah like that, he's going to team up with the white people because he doesn't want Judah to rule. Right. You see what I'm saying? If he don't team up with them, hey, we're going to dominate everything and everybody. Yeah, I just so happen to be reading the book of Isaiah right now. Okay. Figure it out. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Yeah, he got it. This is Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 14. Then I cut asunder mine other staff, right. even bent, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. That mean what? That I, I might break, break the, the brotherhood, brotherhood between, between Judah, Judah and Israel. And Israel. Both sides, all the way from Zechariah, he broke the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. Judah would be the southern kingdom, so-called black. So, you know, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, right? That would be Judah. And so Israel would be all the other tribes. Right? So he broke the brotherhood all the way from the time of Zechariah. That's why we don't get along sometimes. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's, that's. I mean, we, we looked at it as two different people today. Yeah. So let's go to uh, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah yeah. 12. Or uh, Isaiah 11 and verse 11, 12. Uh, yeah, 11, 12. 11, 12. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. Right. And he shall set up and, uh, and, and sign this, for the this. for all, from and he shall set up and assign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the despair of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart. So Ephraim is envious of Judah. You see that? Envious. You have that uh, definition? Not yeah. 
Alright, we're gonna do it. Alright, this is the root word for envy. Right. Almost every case, envy arises when when we are experiencing Skip the definition. Let's get the definition. I'm trying to find it. Spit it out, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. A, a feeling of discontent or covetousness with regard to another's advantages, success, possessions, etc. Yeah, so that's the that's the I got another one. Yeah, another one. You got it. Hey, this is the definition of envy, a feeling of discontent or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Yeah, you see that? Wow. So that's, that, that's, that's the envious nature between Judah and Israel, the Browns and the Blacks. We envy each other, you know, and, and some might say that the Browns envy the Blacks more. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to, let's keep, let's keep it. Okay. The heard envy it. also of Ephraim shall depart, right. and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So at that time, when the Mosai brings us all back into our own land, He's going to cut out that envious nature that we have between each other and the vexation that we have between each other. And we're going to be as one in that day. All right, so that's what we teach you. Somebody, he wanted to know what religion we are. What religion? So we don't hold to a religion. We uh, believe in the Bible. We are Israelites. Okay, right? um, my aunt, she's Judeo Christian. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that religion. Yeah, yeah, Judeo Christian. She's Judeo Christian, I guess. She's Christian, but she got a little bit of uh, Jewish beliefs, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, we not that. No, we ain't, we ain't that. We not, we not that. So yeah. what exactly are you guys? If you don't ask him. So basically, what we teaching is the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. That's right. They're Israelites, right? So what, what would be your nationality, brother? Korean. Korean. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not doing it. You better get the boot real quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it, bro. El Salvador. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. So on your father's side as well? Yeah, both sides. Okay, so El Salvador. So you come from the tribe of Zebulon, to the best of our, you know, your knowledge, right? Zebulon will be the so-called Central Americans. That's right. Right? So El Salvador falls into, into that category. Belize, Belize, like Guatemala, Honduras, like Yeah, exactly. Sorry, sorry. Zebulon. Okay, okay, Zebulon. Yep. Okay, um, and so, he said what? Spain. Oh yeah, so in the Spanish, right? El Salvador, what does that mean? That word means? The savior. The savior, yeah. exactly. So how's that? That's not a nationality though, right? <laughs> how's that a nationality? Because because we come from Atlanta, so we're Salvadorian. We're not El Salvador, we're Salvadorian because we come from Atlanta. Yeah, so. Saviors. Okay, but the thing is, it's saviors, the name, yeah. right? Saviors. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's not a nationality, especially it's not a God-given nationality. Right. right, it's not a God given nationality. I mean, I understand, I don't see these hoes in life. <laughs> right, so if we know who the Savior is, it's, it's who? It's God. It's God. That's right. Ah. right? So uh, we can't be just, just going around saying, yeah, that's my nationality. Nah. Right? Our nationality is Israel. That's right. right? That's right. our right. nation that we come from. The Holy Land. Yeah. That's right. That's your land. That's your land. That's your land man. It's not Jewish. Oh, wow. It's, it's not the small hats. It's not, it's not any of that. You know what I'm saying? We the Israelites, we the Jews, right? Yeah, the tunnel dwellers, the people under the un, under underground. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles, right? That's not who we are. We're God's chosen people, and we're highly favored in the most high, right? So, so let me let me ask you this real quick. Right? You ride, you block. I got God is whoever you want. He got He got. He stand. He block it if he stand. Hey, I'm the present means that if he go nowhere, he would catch you. I got a question. You, you ever woke up on fire? <laughs> God, God, I'm somewhere else. See that? <laughs> I'm standing right here. I'm the president. God, tell Understand that. who I am. Hey, hey, I finished. You know what I do? That's why I'm president. It wouldn't matter because you would have been. I would. 
Yeah, get, no, get, give me Acts it's chapter uh, 19 yeah, check us out. and verse number 13. Your father should be ashamed of you. Acts chapter 19. <laughs> verse 13. <laughs> verse 13. <laughs> then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists took upon them. Then, then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists took upon them to call them, to call over them, which had evil spirits. Which had what? Which, which had, had evil, evil spirits. spirits. And what? Which, which had, had evil spirits. spirits. And what? Which, which had evil spirits. And what? Which, which had evil spirits. Which had evil spirits. Brother God. Which had evil spirits. Brother God. Which had evil spirits. Upon him. Which had evil spirits. Brother God. The evil spirit, man. Brother God. The evil spirit, man. You should call him Legion for all the spirits that he has on him. Go ahead. The name of the Lord Jesus saying, we, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. We adjure you by Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah rebuke thee, man. That's, right. that's all it is, man. That's all, that's all it is, trying to vex the kid. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 14. Verse 14. And there were seven sons of, of, of Sephah, uh, a Jew, right? and chief of the priests, which did so. Go ahead. An evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know. Yahweh Shah I know. Go ahead. And Paul I know. Go ahead. But who are ye? But what? Who are ye? What? Who are ye? But what? Who are ye? Who are ye, man? Who the hell is this? Right? Yahweh Shah I know. Paul I know. But who are you, man? Right, right. All right. You understand? Give me the book of Acts 13 and verse 8, uh, 10 real quick, guys. Give me Acts 13 and 10 real quick, huh? right? Give me Acts uh, 13 and verse 10. And then they jumped into the man that they didn't know. No. Yeah. Completely bogged out. Yeah, exactly. And that's what exactly. we see right there. They all over that man. They all over that man, man. Right? So, Go ahead. Uh, Acts 13 and 10. Chris. God, this is Acts chapter 13 Chris, verse 10. And said, O full of all subtlety and all mystery. Thou child of the devil. Thou what? 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 Thou child of the devil. Thou enemy of all righteousness. Thou what? Thou enemy of all righteousness. Thou enemy of all righteousness. You understand? Thou enemy of all righteousness. Trying to vex the camp, man. Right? Go ahead. Wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Right. And now, behold. 
the hand of the Lord is upon thee. And thou shalt be blind. Thou shalt be what? And thou shalt be blind. Thou shalt be what? And thou shalt be blind. Thou shalt be blind, man. The most I can sm smite him with blindness. Who knows, uh, man? Uh, the most I can judge him right now, right? Based off the actions that he has done, man. You understand? But I mean, you're always going to have spirits, right? Throwing water. Through his water. Hey, but shout out to Zebulon, though, man. Hey, shout out to Zebulon! Shout out to Zebulon. Shout out to Zach. <laughs> right, man. That's right. Go ahead. Thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And that's spiritual too, man. Right? Because what is the sun? Yeah, kind of rep represent, represent Yahweh Not seeing Yahweh for a season. Not seeing the truth for a season. Right? That's spiritual. Go ahead. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. Go ahead. And he went about seeking to some. To lead him by the hand. Yeah, to lead him by the hand. You see that? Right? But that's that brother right there, man. Legion. But we are many. As it says in the book of Mark. Right? Ah. What is thy name? We are legions. Right? Go ahead, Ken. This is the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 3. Go ahead. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains. Right. And the chains have been plucked asunder by him, uh, and the feathers broken in pieces. Yep. Neither could neither could any man tame him. Right. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And doing what? And cutting himself with stones. Go ahead. But when you but he but when he saw Yahweh Shai uh -huh. afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And cried with a loud voice and said, right. What have I to do with you? What have I what? What, what have, have I, I to do, do with you? you? What we say to the demon? What, what have, have I to do with you? And what we got to do with you, man? We're not bothering you out here. He, hey, we was even in the parking lot, starts yelling at us. Right? We're not doing nothing. We literally just, <laughs> we're not doing we just, we just eat beats and he's yelling at us. Right? We're not, what, what have I to do with you? Go ahead. Yahweh side, thou son. Of the most high Yahweh. Right. I adjure thee by Yahweh that thou torment me not. Go ahead. For he said unto me, uh, for he said unto him, uh -huh. Come out of the come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Do what? Come, come out, out of the man, man thou unclean, unclean spirit. What are we saying to him? Come, come out, out of the man, man thou unclean, unclean spirit. We're calling out the spirit, man. You gotta call him out. You gotta call out Satan, man. That's right. Go ahead. And he said unto him, uh -huh. What is thy name? What is what? What, what is, is thy, thy name? name? What are we saying to him? What, what is, is thy, thy name? name? What is thy name? That's right. Read it again. And he said unto him, uh -huh. What is thy name? Go ahead. And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. What did he say? My, My name, name is Legion. Legion. What did he say? My, My name is Legion. Legion. My name is Legion. For what? For we are many. For we are many. There's a lot of demons on this guy. Right. A lot of spirits. Right? A legion of them. But yeah, all praise to the most psalm. Pass to the brothers. Right? Uh give me a brother Psalms. Brother smacking brothers with them, uh <laughs> yep. with the uh whatever. Give me uh Psalms twenty seven one. Crutches, man. <laughs> It's a girl angry. He came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, Zebulon. 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 You damn devils. <laughs> <laughs> you got to help, help the brother, man. My God. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been patient with preachers, too, man. We've been patient. Yeah. yeah. He getting worse, though. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? He getting worse than here. He wasn't scoffing like that. Nah. He was at least listening. Yeah. Now he's scoffing. Yeah, yeah. He getting worse, for real. Worse, man. Give me, a, give me that, though. Yeah, they, they be a magnified. Yeah. This is Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Of what? Of whom shall I be afraid? Now we afraid to preach it Of whom shall I be afraid? Demons out here. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, Came upon me to eat up my flesh. Came 
upon me to uh to do what? Came it upon me to eat up my flesh. flesh. Preachers kid came it upon me to eat up my flesh. Try to eat our flesh, man. Right? They're trying to devour it, trying to devour the camp, man. Go ahead. They stumbled and fell. What happened to them? They, they stumbled, stumbled and fell. What happened to the preacher's kid? They, they stumbled, stumbled and fell. They stumbled and fell, man. Go ahead. Though an host should encamp against me, right. my heart shall not fear. Go ahead. Though war should rise against me, uh -huh. in this will I be confident. Go ahead. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, uh -huh. that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only one day in the truth. All, all the, the days, days of my life. We're near the truth. All, all the, the days, days of, of my life. life. All the days of our life. Go ahead. To behold the beauty of the Lord uh -huh. and to inquire in his temple. Right. So with that, we, we, you know, we pray and desire that Israel may be saved and that we may uh, endure in this truth unto the end, man. That's right. right? Oh, all the yeah. days of our life, man. Yeah. And never go back into the world. That's our heart's prayer and desire. You understand? That ah. also that Israel may be saved. Give me the book of Isaiah 42 and verse number 13, man. End it off. Brothers get like 10 priests to close out, man. I'm like, hey, look. If it's time to close out, it's time to close out, man. Just, just pass it. Just pass it already. Just pass it already. Right? <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, uh, yeah, 42 and 13. Yeah, God. You got it? You got it? Oh. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. What the Lord say? I have long time holding my peace. I have long time holding my peace. I have, long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrain myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Kumbia Shell. Kumbia Shell.